like to call to order the Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, meeting of the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors. Are we certified in compliance with the open meeting law? Uh, we are. It was posted on the 17th of February at 11 a.m. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Next item of business is roll call. Supervisor Nelson, can you connect? Thank you. There are 23 supervisors present. All right, next is the approval of the January 17th, 2023 journal. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll make the motion to approve. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion? Seeing none, please vote. The journal's approved unanimously. Are there any presentations? Public addresses? Uh, we have one, Robert Ziegelbauer, uh, North Lakeshore Drive in Sheboygan. Hello, and good evening to you all. My name is Robert Ziegelbauer. I reside at N. 8540 Lakeshore Road in the town of Mosul in Sheboygan County. I'm a lifelong resident of Sheboygan County. I'd like to voice my support for both Resolution 25 from Finance and Resolution 29 from Executive and Human Resources. I have traveled enough of this world to realize how good we have it here in this county, and I am truly grateful. This body is historically full of thoughtful and caring individuals. In my youth, I was told a story by my grandfather. If you take 100 black ants and put them in a jar with 100 red ants, they will share this space peacefully. But if, something, if someone or something shakes that jar, they will attack each other as if they're different was the cause for the aggravation. He said to me, seek out the cause and find out why before you dismiss the whole of any group. I served on this nonpartisan body for eight years and I take great pride in my voting record <clears throat> and the success of the county's business during this time. To me, it was all about pulling the line on property taxes and debt, and trying to get the state to fund their mandates and loosen their chokehold on us. Um, our low, the mill rate you currently have is the lowest since 19 in the 80s. That's incredible. And the current debt of 25 million about is projected to be near 18 million by the year's end. Eight years of consecutive earned awards of excellence in auditors, uh, auditors speak for itself. This county endeavors to exceed expectations. God did not tell me to seek this position. The incumbent, my neighbors, my family encouraged me, and it has truly been a rewarding experience. The friendships and relationships I've garnered through this time are incredible and cherished. To me, religion and politics do not belong here. It rattles a jar. 
and brushes up against my freedom. I have never used God as a shield, only a friend. Like it or not, the ARPA dollars were appropriate and an extremely I just read a story in the Plymouth paper of the good use that Plymouth is trying to do with their ARPA money. Stories like this can be found throughout this county. In the town of Mosul, they just passed an ordinance last Wednesday that would increase the town's levy by 25%. Possibly ARPA money to get these things done. And I would support that also. It's a decades old problem that has come to light after the times we have just lived through. In my view, a no vote on these, after all this effort to get it in front of you, good, thoughtful, business manner, is actively attempt to unfund law enforcement, ignore relationships with our business community, and punish your most valuable asset, your employees, and is suspect to a personal or political agenda that has no bearing on the business of this county. It rattles a jar. I urge you to support Resolution 25 for the finance. I also encourage the support of Resolution 29. I'm a believer in, in experienced and established relationships. I'm hopeful that you act on this this evening so that critical positions can be filled in a timely manner and ensure a positive business flow and continued success for this county. I truly appreciate you letting me speak tonight, and I urge you to support these two resolutions. Thank you very much, the chairman and everybody. Letters, communications, and announcements. <clears throat> First, uh, there's a report, report on public official bonds for 2023. Um, for state statute 1901, we have a bond that covers all officials, and then a second <coughs> bond for the county treasurer. And I believe we received that for information. Next, I have a letter of thanks, uh, thanking Sheboygan County for a donation of $53,000, 53010 to Fresh Meals on Wheels in Sheboygan County for financial assistance for unseen increases in 2022. Okay, thank That's you. All. Next is the Deputy County Administrator's Report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, everyone. I will be covering three topics tonight. Um, these three resolutions are all um, in your packet and just going to give you a high-end overview um, of the, the resolution. So the first resolution that I'm going to cover is resolution number 26, and that is the carryover of unexpended funds to 2023. This is a process that we follow every single year, um, and this is to take dollars from the previous budget cycle that we were unable to expend and carry them forward to the next year. Um, these projects uh, were not able to be completed for various reasons, whether it be um, weather, delays from our vendors or contractors or other extenuating circumstances. Um, in total, the carryovers for this year is just over $1.9 million. Um, I hope, hope you've all had a chance to review the document that's in your packet that outlines um, those expenditures. And these are for various projects, for um, structural projects, equipment purchases, and again, contracted services that we rely on vendors for. So that is a snapshot of resolution number 26. And those dollars that are um, being proposed for carryover are required to be used for the exact same purpose in, in 2023. So if approved, the departments need to use those dollars for what they were originally approved for um, and not anything else. Next up, I wanted to touch on resolution number 28, and that is regarding Road America's right of first refusal. Um, you'll see in your packet that that is not um, going to be up for any action tonight, and I just wanted to touch on that. Um, if you're wondering uh, why that is, it's not often that we have something that's deferred, um, but this is a resolution that was introduced through the Transportation Committee, 
and Road America had requested an additional review of that document. And currently they are in conversation with Corporation Council and they may be um, very likely proposing some amendments to that. So we wanted to make sure that the document was in its final form before it proceeded through any further action at the board. So as you can see in your packet, that's being deferred to a future meeting um, just to make sure that the document is finalized. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention on the, the reason why that's being um, deferred to a future meeting. And then finally, resolution number 25, uh, that is on the approval of the American Rescue Plan Act dollars. Uh, this is the sixth resolution that's come to the board uh, for authorizing the use of those dollars. For a quick snapshot um, and refresher, we um, were obligated with $22.4 million. And to date, the county board has approved the use of just over $19.3 million of the 22.4. Um, and so that does not include what's before you tonight in the resolution number 25. The items that are up for consideration tonight, uh, the first one is Rocky Knoll lost revenue support. Uh, this is something that we've approved uh, for previous years for Rocky Knoll, and this is to cover any gaps that may um, occur at year end through Rocky Knoll and to cover any lost revenue and make them whole for the year. And so the amounts that you see for 2023 and 2024 those are currently earmarks and will be adjusted accordingly based on what's needed for Rocky Knoll. Uh, we are hopeful that they will come in below that, but we wanted to have dollars set aside um, for that purpose. The second item is the Rocky Knoll water tower painting. That is per um, the maintenance plan and an inspection of the water tower that's at Rocky Knoll. It is due for a painting, and the reason um, that we want um, this project to occur in 2023 has to do with the specialized paint that's used in the water tower, and we've been notified that that type of product will um, no longer be available, so time is of the essence so that we can get this project completed with the project, um, excuse me, the product necessary and avoid incurring additional expenses for that um, project and, and necessary maintenance on the water tower. The third item is the proposal for the Sheriff's Department for body cameras and in-squad camera upgrades. And the amount that you see in 2023 is for not only the equipment purchases for those cameras as well as the storage for the video itself. Um, the fourth item is a grant match uh, so we received a grant to up, upgrade um, in our communication center or the dispatch center of the sheriff's department um, to become compliant with the next gen 911. And so the dollars in 2023 is the match to the grant. And in total, that was over $500,000. And so this is the um, county's portion of that grant. And then finally, the last item is the miscellaneous ARPA administrative expenses. As we um, put these dollars to use, we have um, realized that there's a couple expenses that are coming up that are tied to the administration of these expenses, and those include the various procurement procedures that we're required to follow, as well as the um, required advertisements in the newspapers and, and things like that. So we wanted to have some dollars earmarked for those administrative expenses that aren't necessarily tied to any one project, but are necessary for the administration of these projects and programs. So that is a, a high-end overview of the uh, projects that are before you in the ARPA resolution. And so that is all I have for you this evening. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, so thank you. Right, then we'll move on to the consideration of committee reports. Executive Committee, resolution number 26. Regarding carryover of unexpended 2022 appropriations to 2023, committee recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Brower. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Any discussion? Seeing none, please vote. Motion is approved unanimously. Resolution number 27. Regarding approving permanent easement for American Transmission Company, committee recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Also approve unanimously. <clears throat> Resolution number 28. Regarding authorizing Elkhart Lakes Road America right of first refusal and option to purchase. Pursuant to rule 2.13, uh, Chairman Koch authorized the executive committee to defer the decision until March 2nd and defer action until March 21st of the 2023 county board meeting. Supervisor Testrodi, did you have something for that? Okay. Uh, Sorry, I was uh, looking at the next one. Pardon me. <laughs> no problem. Consideration of committee reports, Finance Committee, resolution number 25. Uh, regarding approving use of American Rescue Plan Act funds number six, where I could move to adopt. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move for passage of resolution number 25. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Clark. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll second that. Thank you, Supervisor Clark. Okay. Now under discussion. Can I say something? Supervisor Smith, okay. go ahead. Um, anyways, I just wanted to explain my vote that I will be voting no on this one for the ARPA funds. Um, because I was, I've been opposed to the ARPA funds from the get-go, which I explained a number of months ago at that meeting where we passed the initial um, amount. Um, however, it doesn't negate the fact that I do feel that the needs at Rocky Knoll in particular and the detention center are, are, are of concern. Um, they both are special populations, fragile, needy, um, sometimes volatile. Um, I just don't um, agree with using the ARPA funds for that. Thank you. Great. Supervisor Spells. Any other discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And next is resolutions introduced. Resolution number 29. From Exec and Human Resources Committee re uh, regarding appointing County Administrator Elaine a contemplated action pursuant to Rule 13 is anticipated that a motion to withdraw this proposed resolution will be made. If by a majority vote, the board votes to pull a resolution, it will be subject to immediate action. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that Resolution 29 be pulled for immediate action. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Brower. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. On the data, uh, Motion of proposal is approved. Twenty-two yes, one abstain. All right. With that, we need a motion on the original, on resolution number twenty-nine. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will make that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Motion's approved 22 yes and one abstention. All right. Now, Resolution 30. From Executive Committee regarding authorizing Sheboygan County to enter into a settlement agreement with CVS. Walgreens, Walmart, Teva, Allergen agree to terms of the Memorandum of Understanding allocating settlement proceeds and authorize entry into the Memorandum of Understanding with the Attorney General. All right. Well, that will go to Finance, Resolution 31. From Planning Resources, Agriculture and Extension Committee regarding accepting donation from Ducks Unlimited and authorizing purchase of property to be added to the Sheboygan County Broughton Marsh. That will be referred to Exec. Ordinance is introduced, ordinance number five. From Human Resources Committee regarding amending pay scale for Sheriff's Department dispatchers. That will be referred to exec. With that, Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move to adjourn.
Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Ellis. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second. Thank you, Supervisor Ellis. Please vote. We're adjourned. Thank you.